of Finn's favourite games is when you take the ball and you throw it to him up the stairs and then he drops it back down to you. Today is a woodworking day. You know, it's hard not to look at your stats sometimes, and I did notice that between yesterday and today I did lose two subscribers. Although I did get like a boost of plus 72 in the last 28 days. I totally understand why people would want to unsubscribe from my YouTube channel, because it is kind of whack how varied all my content is. But I'm not salty, you're always going to lose a few along the way. And we've had like 70 plus people join over the last five weeks, which is pretty cool. I want to make a load of sawdust, but I also need to oil these again, so I'm going to have to move these upstairs so that I can oil them without them getting all, without all the dust getting stuck to the oil. I've also run out of paintbrushes, so let's go get some more of those as well. They're all oiled now, so just gonna wait for those to dry 24 hours and then all finished. I'm under like no illusions that it's gonna be hard to grow this channel because the topics are just so disparate every single day. I'm really happy with these, they look really good. Tonally, all my videos are quite varied. They're all edited quite different. And if you could see my tags, you would see that they're all very different as well. You know, I really want my videos to like kind of look and feel different from day to day and I really can't see me wanting to make this channel all around one particular topic. We're celebrating tonight, so we're gonna get Chinese food and you'll find out why we're celebrating in, I don't know, about five weeks time, something like that. Five weeks? Didn't you Ish. think you was hanging? Oh. <laughs> well, that's just how it is, I'm afraid. You see all this area right here used to be a really simple roundabout, and now they've changed it into this big setup with all these traffic lights and all these cars going in different directions. Green man. Look at this one, for example, it's been knocked over. Thank you. Thank you. Now people crash here just all of the time. I got the takeaway. I'm excited, I've not had Chinese for a very long time. Hope you're hungry. When you search for advice on how to grow a YouTube channel, 
one of the main pieces of advice that I see that comes up is to find a niche. But I think for me that's horrible advice. While the most common advice that I hear is to find your niche, the most common complaint that I hear is that YouTubers, they want to make a specific video and they can't. And it's because they've established their channel to be a certain way. And if they make that video, it's going to cause some sort of chain reaction that will cause the channel to go down. I think the idea is that people will come to the video with certain expectations of your content. And when you don't deliver on those expectations because you've done something new, they won't watch it. And when they don't watch it, it puts that video down in the algorithm, which means the next one might be down in the algorithm. And so YouTube becomes this constant game of trying to manage either an upward or downward spiral. If your videos are doing well, then YouTube will promote them to more people. That's not a game that I'm really interested in ever playing. If I'm just going to make videos, then I want to make sure that I like them, that my friends like them. That's really all that is important to me. And it's going to be super dope when I have like one whole year's worth of videos and I can just stick them on the TV and watch them in the background. Because I'm the ultimate narcissist. <laughs>